All right, so something else I've used Legends for is adding hatch patterns to a plan or to an elevation, whatever it might be. It's a good way of, I guess, showcasing what some of these things are without noting them in the schedule. It allows you to create a fill pattern and then label what that actually is. So you can see this is my demolition plan for this project. And I've got this legend viewport, which has been added to the sheet. So to do that, it's really simple. We're just going to go ahead and create a new legend. We can call this floor hatches. And so now from here, all we're going to be doing is creating a field region. And we can give this the size of, let's just say, 500 by 500. I'm just going to use the temporary dimensions there. And we can change this to be whatever the hatch pattern is that we've used on the actual floor hatch. So we can double check that by going to the floor plan. I'm just gonna close that field region and let's have a look at what floor hatch we can hear. So for the tiles, we're gonna edit this, edit the bathroom tiles in the actual material browser. And you can see we're using the 100 by 200 tile pattern. So we're gonna close all that, go back to our floor legend, create a new field region. Again, 500 by 500. And we're gonna change this again, edit the type, make sure that we duplicate it so that we don't change anything. We're gonna call this 100 by 200 bathroom tiles. We're gonna change the foreground fill pattern and we're just gonna check if it's in the drafting or the model. And it looks like it's in the model for the good. That's why it's showing up on all of the other drawings as well. So we're gonna use that same fill pattern and we're just gonna add it to this hatch. Now you can see that we can't actually see it there until we tick it. Now we can see that hatch pattern, but you can see that it's currently not showing from you know the start of the tile it's looking a bit weird if we click tab over one of these lines we can actually move this hatch pattern by selecting one of these lines and pressing mv to move it i'm just going to move that in line with that line there and i'm going to do the same thing with this line i'm just going to move it over so that it's sort of centered it doesn't have to be perfect i can even nudge them and then that looks pretty good so now if we go back to our level one floor plan what i can do is add that floor hatches legend to that view. I'm just gonna add it to the sheet actually so that it's uh, over here. And there's our floor hatch. We don't need the title on it, but what we, what we do wanna do is then actually annotate and say what this is. I'm just gonna use generic text using the TX button. I'm just gonna type bathroom tiles 100 by 200. Now I want this to be a little bit bigger so and see it. And then what we can do is copy this all and we're gonna just bring this down maybe 700 mils. And we're going to do the same thing for another floor type. Now, we don't actually know what other floor types we have. We haven't uh, specified what they are. You can see here that we've got a material on it which is a carpet, but it's got no surface pattern. But what we could do is assign a pattern to this carpet and then add that in the floor hatch legend. And so we'll leave this blank for now. We'll just make this little black and we'll um, carpet. And that's something we can specify later. But if we look at our level one floor plan, that now has updated in this legend. And what we might also wanna do is label this and call it floor hatches legend or floor finishes, I guess you could say, floor finish legend. And we'll just make this text bigger. Now in here, it's updated as well. And so that's how I would go about creating a a hatch legend or something similar to that, like a finish legend. If you'd like to get access to all of the course files, materials and resources, as well as 20 hours of ad-free content, you can feel free to check out the full course on my website. I'll see you there.